next speaker holds an MA in Creative Writing from the Department of English, University of Calgary. This bisexual settler poet lives in Calgary and often cares for his family's net zero kinship house. Give it up for Ian Kinney. year-old male was admitted acutely on June 28, 2008, after he jumped about seven stories from a balcony. There was substance abuse query mushrooms involved, and the degree of psychosis associated. He sustained multiple injuries. As mentioned above, Mr. Kinney is a 22-year-old gentleman who was using mushrooms with his girlfriend in her apartment. He then simply jumped off the seventh-floor balcony. Order wrist restraints more secure. Extubate and agitate and breathe. Ease with gag and cuff and leak. No movement in lowers. Allow to lean but unable to move lowers. I just want to see him again, and he touches the string, correcting me again, and I panic if I go without, no. He corrects me again, touching the string, and I panic if I go without these moments. And landed on the ground below. His injuries are as listed above. Ian jumped from a seven-story building after consuming hallucinogens while at his friend's apartment on June 28, 2008. He landed on his feet and then fell face first onto the ground. Jumped off the seventh floor, landed on feet, intubated at scene. Patient was witnessed by girlfriend to jump off Spontaneously moves right hand and fingers and squeezes writer's hand twice in a row. Subject opens eyes to verbal and squeezes left hand spontaneously, does not obey, verbally incomprehensible, reports to verbal not being able to find the right words, reports not being able to find the right words, reports not able to find the right words. Two to three inch impact mark noted by EMS on ground. Unconscious and snowing response upon EMS arrival. Decorded posturing to pain only. Patient found laying face down on ground. Patient noted to obvious snoring response and appears to be unconscious and unresponsive. 22-year-old male jumped seven floors. 22-year-old male foot fall from requires charging items. I hate having to explain who I am or where I am. And how do I get out of it? Wait, how do I get out of here? If by increasing the pain creates a long block, not allowing. Please, let night staff give patient a sleeping pill. Please, nurses just clutch blood samples as if they're out of fashion. Depending on the not taken, they will not let it stand. Patient just multiple injuries to 22-year-old male who jumped off a seven-story balcony after using mushrooms. 22-year-old male, 2008 to substance. 22-year-old male, polytrauma after fall from seventh floor. Injuries include those listed on previous page, extubated yesterday, has done well. 22-year-old male, non-compliant, poor historian. As a result of the fall, I crush my lower vertebrae, which impinges my spinal cord. I damage my kidneys, I break my leg, and endure traumatic brain injury, and later PTSD. 80% of those who fall six stories die on impact, I'm told. But less than a year after I fall seven stories, I recover enough to run with the dogs behind my parents' home. I lived in the Foothills Hospital for two months. During my neuro rehabilitation, I came with medical doctors, nurses, physio, occupational, and recreational, and speech therapists work with me daily to eat solid food, to keep me mentally active, and to reacquaint myself with my body. I slowly, and with great pain, learn and relearn where I was and what I had done. Anyone can fall. So accustomed to a particular substance that you can only function when the drug is present, focus. Please talk to your doctor about how to avoid questions. Focus on your therapy, hearing, and balance tests. Do not overdose on falling. We offer specialized rehabilitation to those who recover from within your cast. You recover, your recovery and design is I'm alive. I'm alive today because of the care and support of others. My continued survival demands that I recognize, if not celebrate, the shared steps that we're taking and that we continue to take, and the pain. I live and struggle to explore better this journey, but I do not do so alone. Every day furthers my every day. This and other pages in this presentation were designed by Robin Schmelk. I have had the distinct pleasure and privilege to collaborate with this incredible woman and professional designer. Some of the cover art in this presentation was designed by Melanie Cusano and offered by Alison Cobra from the University of Calgary Press, both of whom I've had the distinct pleasure to work with recently, but more on that to come. As per chart, the patient is a 22-year-old male admitted to the Foothills Medical Center on June 28, 2008. Patient jumped off the seventh floor balcony while using, quote, mushrooms. CT scan revealed subdural hemorrhage, and his Glasgow coma scale was three. Other injuries include spinal cord injury, L3 to L5 fusion, L4 body crush within the fracture, dizziness steps in a meditation that movement abuses. 
We want you to know what happens in your own diagnosis. To verbal from the handrail, you leap over chairs, the unsteady steps reach over, at least you can breathe, you can be treated, and people do get better. The substance that we use, the amount that we use, and how often. Air salt sketches in precise designs, and we make skins and stitches, little sketches that imitate the sky within you, open your eyes to imitate the sky. You feel very sorry or guilty for what happens, and I say over and over that it is all right. Finally awakens, sedation not held, reline insertion. I'm not sure what it means, but you are very ill. In both dreams, I finish sculpting my clay masks. His mental status is still sitting in the living room, thinking the light is so lovely and bright. Patient localizes with left arm across midline, but not right arm. Patient able to recognize problem, but unable to provide appropriate problem-solving skills. My book of poetry sets to dismantle its own patterns. It invites you to explore uncertainty, as well as the therapeutic potential of the collective. I continue to write air salt, just as I accumulate found text related to my recovery. But air salt is never, and can never, be fully written. This treated text is its own form of treatment, and my treatment is ongoing. Family walks in without calling. We do not move him at all. His mom tells me to make sure that he never sleeps or eats dinner by himself. Patient winces, but does not open eyes to voice or to pain. The first time, you were awake but not lucid, not saying or doing anything. We do the same when your incident happens. I send you all the energy that I can. Hope minute to minute that you heal and, in air salt, I unwrite my hospitalization from a seven-story fall. Using poetry as neural rehabilitation, a memoir written by an amnesiac, this collection stitches splintered narratives with projective verse, cutting up and reassembling found text from Get Well Soon cards, personal letters, the police and EMS reports, relevant real estate listings, nurses' charts, doctor's notes, hospital brochures, and my own neuropsychological assessment all increasingly recombinant, all increasingly in chorus. I resort and re erase the writing to etch in itself a more essential expression. And I'm honored to announce before you today that Air Salt, a trauma memoir as a result of the fall, is currently forthcoming from the University of Calgary Press. Thank you. <laughs>